Hello and thank you for joining. My name is Craig Urban and I am going to be covering this next iteration of using VBScript to manage and set specific attributes in Active Directory. And right after this small presentation we're going to launch right into stage one and that's going to be creating the VBScript and then making it connect to Active Directory and then retrieve some information. So basically we're going to be looking at some advanced VB scripting that's going to allow our up and coming hosting provider to automatically set an account number for each user, group, and contact that exists inside any organizational unit. This account number will then later be used to assist in several key areas. And essentially we're going to be able to map specific drives. We're going to be able to set the email addresses of any email enabled object. We're going to call other scripts and also do some reporting. Our environment requirements are going to be as followed. We're going to need Exchange Server installed on the domain that we're working in. Uh, this is because the extension attribute values do not exist until Exchange Server is installed. We're going to have to have some organizational units that represent customers and then that particular OU is going to provide a unique account number. A system that's joined to the domain, which can be used to run a scheduled script via scheduled tasks. Ability to write to the extension attribute one attribute, and I actually uh, covered creating a uh, service account and then assigning the, the specific rights needed to do this uh, in a in a previous iteration. Administrator will need basic knowledge of VBScript as well as formulating regular expressions and also recommend using some type of program that can do syntax highlighting. Uh, you'll see in this particular iteration that I'm using Notepad++. The end result is going to be as follows. If it doesn't need to be changed, we're not going to change it. The account number is created based off the OU the object exists in. If a change is to be made, we're going to record it and we're going to record the time and date of the change, the first and last name of the user, as well as what the previous value was and also what the new value is. We're going to need the ability to deal with some items that fail to meet what we're looking for, such as if a user exists outside of uh, the organizational unit, uh, then we're going to set a special account number of ZZ dash and then four zeros. The account number once determined will be set, will be set to the attribute of extension attribute one. Since we have 15 different uh, extension attribute values, uh, we just basically pick one of them and we're going to use that from here on out as the account number. And we're going to go ahead and go into stage one and that is going to be making a VB script and then making a connection to Active Directory and querying Active Directory and displaying the result. All right, here we are with the, the VB script, and I'm just going to run through some of the lines so you can uh, better understand this. I'll actually have uh, the code example up on uh, iterate.com underneath uh, this, uh, this particular iteration. Uh, so it, as you can see, uh, right off the bat, uh, I'm, I'm doing what they what is called option explicit. This is essentially stating that all objects need to be set using the DIM, that stands for dimension. Uh, the option explicit itself has to be at the very top of the script. If there's anything else besides comments that is above it, you'll wind up getting a script error. And then coming down into uh, line 17 here, um, we're going to start seeing the formulation of me setting up a connection to Active Directory. And we'll just go ahead and go through each of these objects here. So this next line here is uh, creating the connection object. This is creating the command object. Uh, so essentially what will happen is that if I uh, run a command it's going to, to basically go into the connection as you'll see here. And then we're going to set up the provider which this is essentially stands for ADO Active Directory Database Provider. And then we're going to do a open we're going to do another set which is going to be setting the command active connection to the object connection so it's doing this here essentially uh, also 
the properties. You have uh, by default a limit of page size of 1,000 objects. If you're querying Active Directory that has more objects than this, then you need to make sure that you set this up higher than 1,000. Otherwise, it's going to truncate your results. And then another property that we're going to be setting is uh, essentially the search scope, which was defined up here. So this is just an easy way when you do a constant, an easy way to take this to and make it into something understandable down here. Now we're going to build basic the basic query or where the connection, which is injected by the command command text. Uh, so you see that we have our OU defined here, and then we're building the query. So essentially, what we're doing is we're going to go for the object categories, which you can view this these items inside of a ADSI edit. Uh, we're going to find any users, any groups any contacts. And then finally this command text is the final build of everything and it's essentially the select statement that uses an LDAP query and you can see how this all works. So we have the path that we defined and then we also are then stringing in the query. Uh, this little extra stuff is uh, making sure that the, the proper quote and space in between the, the, the path and the query exists and then we're going to, to execute the command whenever we call the object record set. So this next one is uh, because we're going to be doing this particular routine multiple times instead of copying and pasting it multiple times we're just going to put it into a subroutine um, and then this is, is essentially calling it and when we call this particular subroutine we're going to pass this object into it then we have the subroutine defined and it's called set account info and when you do this particular piece here we're saying this is the subroutine name and this is the parameter that needs to be passed to it and once we uh, get into the subroutine we're going to move to the first record using op object record set so like you can see back here object record set is object command execute object command is this so you can kind of see how it falls back through here now finally uh, we're going to go into the loop and essentially we are going to do do this uh, loop here until end of file so we're doing object record set until end of file. So essentially we're querying Active Directory, iterating through all the objects until we reach the end of it. And in the script we're going to see this particular piece here and we're going to set string user DN and we're going to get the attribute of distinguished name and once we get this we're going to display it by you to the console by using wscript echo string user dn and then after we display the record we're going to move to the next one and finally the last piece of the script is that we're going to go ahead and do some cleanup routines and any string or object that we created or set we're going to go ahead and set back to nothing before the script uh, closes all right, now we got the the script copied over to the domain controller, and we're going to just go ahead and open up uh, the command prompt. It's a lot easier to see the results in uh, the DOS window. Um, we are going to essentially use uh, C script. Uh, the, the equivalent for Win for Windows shell is going to be W script, but since we want to display the results in the command shell, we're going to use C script. Okay, so that's going to be C script, and we're going to do this and press enter and as you can see that we iterate it through all of uh, Active Directory underneath the, the particular customers OU